The Lord Explains The Measuring Line by Which All is Measured Come and Take the Leap Trumpet Call of God August 23rd, 2010 From the Lord, our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy during an online fellowship for the Lord's little flock and for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, Beloved, you have sought me, and this you have done well. Yet the fullness of my love you have yet to understand. For you have only tasted, having taken but a single sip from the cup of my glory. Indeed, in your mind's eye you have seen, but only dimly, a passing glimpse of the majesty from on high. Therefore, I now ask you to take a leap. A leap of understanding, a leap of faith, of steadfast trust, a leap which few truly desire from which most flee away, a wondrous leap wherein one lands solidly in my love, wherein peace flows beyond understanding and knowledge of the Holy One is made complete, wisdom of such a kind in where the former fulfills the latter, wisdom which remains rare among my people. For those who sit at my table, also having one who speaks for me in their midst, shall be tried by a greater line than their fellows, a measuring line over which many stumble, from which many depart, a measuring line of which the churches hate and the world seeks to destroy, a line which has no beginning and no end. Beloved ones, I tell you the truth. The people of this world do not know me, Therefore, I have come close to unstop the ears of all who long to hear my voice and obey it. I have drawn near to open the eyes of all who desire to look upon my face and partake of my glory. Behold, I have poured out my spirit to restore the hearts of the penitent, to breathe new life into all those who embrace my words and seek to remain in my love. Yet the hidden place waits eagerly for the time. For I am come, and have come already, and behold, I shall also return and reveal my glory. I have not departed from my people, for my spirit dwells in my own, and I shall surely heal them, some broken before the time, and many more after. Yet there are those few who will be broken in an instant, wailing, tears as a river, flowing down my bosom. For I tell you the truth, each one of you shall saturate my robes. Beloved, you shall die in that day. Every burden lifted, every tear wiped away, no more pain or sorrow, every hurt passing away, destroyed in my love, healed in my strong embrace. And in that moment, your life shall begin anew in my life. You in me, I in you. Therefore understand the power and majesty of the love of God, which I am. For the measuring line of which I speak is a cord which can never be cut. The same line by which all is measured, the line by which right is separated from wrong, the line wherein love flows pure in unending righteousness, purging away every last bit of dross within the hearts of my beloved. Beloved children, I am that line. There is no other way, for I am the only truth. And apart from me, there is no life. Beloved, my heartstrings remain securely fastened to the hearts of all my elect, whether they are awake or sleeping, afar off or close at hand. For my life is a line which can never be broken. Behold, my love endures forever. Therefore, come to me 
and I shall give you rest. Be drawn to me, that I may lift you up. For I tell you the truth, my wrath is coming. Behold, my anger is already here. My fierce jealousy burns like a raging fire and is about to come to the full. Yet do not waver, but understand, for my wrath is required, and the foundation of my anger rests solidly upon my jealousy, by which my unending sorrow is also revealed. For my wrath is born of sorrow, and my anger bursts forth as a husband jealous over his bride, my fury as a father protecting his children, as one mighty in battle, breaking through the lines. Recompense upon all nations who offend, upon all who have harmed my beloved. Vengeance upon all who have slain my little ones, upon all who took part in the murder of the innocent. Behold, there is only one among you who has glimpsed my anger, for what sort it truly is only one who has tasted of my tears. For my people do not know me, and those within the churches of men refuse to accept me as I am, and neither do they seek to understand. For when I warn them of my wrath, or speak of my anger, they do always turn to me a deaf ear. They cannot bear to listen, nor can they discern. Behold, they hate the sound of my voice, and will not give heed to my correction. They reject and slander all those I send. Beloved, they no longer recognize me, and want no part with me as I truly am. Therefore, my wrath shall come upon them on a day they did not look for, and my anger at an hour they did not expect. Behold, upon the whole world I shall pour out my judgment in that day. Thus I call all those here, and even all who embrace my letters, to take a great leap, to grab hold of the line. For I am the Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth. Behold, I am also your father, your husband, your most beloved friend the loving mercy of God. Therefore, fear not, but understand. When you partake of love, you partake of me. And when you understand love, then will you know me as I truly am. The mystery of God revealed in the arms of the Beloved, the Holy One of Israel, your Redeemer, your life, your righteousness. Yahushua Yahweh, the face of the invisible God, the I Am. <laughs>